<laughs> Y'all already know what it is. Welcome back to another rendition of the 85 South hey. Show. Black Excellence. Black Excellence. Spotlight. Hey, This is what I'm gonna do this time. Wait, what's I'm up? gonna introduce them individually uh. because this lady right here, her introduction needs to be longer. And I need OG Markel, oh. which is sitting right here, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to give her the proper introductions because oh, wow. I feel like people be sleep. Mm -hmm. She been cooking for the she whole family cooking. since she was 13, 14. Yo. The whole family. I don't know. How you know? Now, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Do the, do the honors for me and All introduce right. this lovely right. lady so, we got on the couch right here. What we have right here, we got Miss Janessa Amos. Yes. The master chef of Cafe Bourbon Street. <laughs> um, she's amazing. She, like, like Carlos say, she been cooking for the family since she was like 15. This is true. And that's the moment I knew I needed to keep her in my life. So. Exactly. So you see how I lean go. back? Cause yeah, that's what I wanted the intro to be facts, big. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, facts, cause facts. she does it all, man, from Thank the you. top to the bottom. Thank you. I actually Thank went you. down to their establishment, Cafe Bourbon Street. And, and tell him, I ain't, I ain't to be played with. He, you know? I, I'm, he came, pulled up, you know, worked and did stuff. I'm trying, when you coming back? Man, look, we need they still to talking about them shrimp I did. <laughs> the streets are still oh. talking about We, we need you back. Yeah, Come man. on, man. They said my egg rolls, magnificent. <laughs> you you kind of came up with a new menu item. What that is, I ain't heard about that. Remember? But, you ain't hear about my egg roll yeah, bites? Egg nah, roll I ain't bites. about the bites. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I must get outside, yo. Yeah. We ain't okay. gonna even talk yeah, about it on it's camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Everybody right, got right, egg roll right, bites. Right, right. Nah, man, we just wanted to make sure we brought y'all in here, highlight the excellence that y'all doing in the community. Y'all yeah. providing a great service, uh, good food, delicious food, thank and y'all been holding it you. down all through this pandemic, man. So yes, we want to make man. sure we highlight some of that. Wow. So, Let's get into it. Tell us what inspired you, how you got started, all of that. We got to run it. For sure. Oh, man. It, it really started as a beignet cart. Yeah. Yeah, like we was in college, bro, and we had started doing meal deliveries from home. You know, she was a chef, mm -hmm. and I was always a hustler. So now, like, that's a hell of a combination right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You put so, a chef and a hustler together. Hey, you know, you got set up these wings. Because I ain't going to lie, I didn't want to do yeah, it at first. Sure. What you I, wanted to do? I don't know. I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I went to culinary school, um, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't for sure with myself. Like, I knew my food was good, but I didn't really have enough confidence in myself to know that Everybody else would like my food, and he was the one. Hey, this shit good. Right. <laughs> like, so that's, that's what you need. You know that's what, what you saying? need to have. You gotta have yeah. somebody to say that every now and then yeah. to affirm what you're doing. This yeah, shit good. And that's right. for this real. shit hit. This <laughs> shit fat. <laughs> so I mean, from there, I basically went and booked us a catering gig that she ain't know nothing about. Yeah. Came yeah. home and was like, hey, 
This is what we gotta do. You gotta like, do hold it. Up, hold up. What? <laughs> so um it was like a little catering event. It was called Gifts and Girlfriends. And um I think I whipped up like some pasta or something like that. I can't really remember what it was, but after that, then we had like multiple bookings after that. So I was like, well, I guess this, this is what, what I we was doing. gonna ask you though. Because a lot of people might see this and be like, I want to go to culinary school. So give me give me the rundown of what an ordinary, typical day of culinary school is like. Because um, the people who ain't never been be like, they're just in there cooking and eating food all day. Motherfuckers <laughs> just gaining weight, getting fat all in the neck. What, no, what y'all I mean, doing? That is a part of it. You are, because you got to taste what you make it. Make sure you know it's, you're doing it right. But um, it's still like real classes, math and um, nutrition uh psychology we had to take real courses it That's wasn't just crazy i know right because that was the whole reason why i wanted to go to culinary school was to how many times did school. they make you cook breakfast <laughs> i feel like you should have to cook breakfast every day at you culinary know what? school we didn't really do breakfast like That's that bullshit. <laughs> now that i think about it we didn't really do breakfast. it was like asian cuisine yeah. um uh spanish and just european other like different cuisines but it wasn't really breakfast why don't we open up a black ass culinary school? Facts. That's Ooh, a good you idea. Hey, right? hey. You gotta cook breakfast when you get there. Yeah. <laughs> then you gotta make the lunch. You gotta make lunch yeah. for breakfast yourself and at least two people. Yeah. Facts. Then you gotta have you gotta cook. You, you gotta cook three times a day. Grits and bacon and eggs, all that, that's like a staple. Yeah. Yeah. And we taking off points, be like, what why why I get a why what's mm. this? Now you know you cook them goddamn eggs first. Right. Them grits too loose. Them right. Right. Look at these loose head grits. <laughs> like soup. Let me mix that in grits. <laughs> For real, yeah. But honestly, though, I mean. She was amazing before she ever touched well, thank culinary you. school, though. For real. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, natural you thing that had to happen. It was. It was natural. I mean, yeah. I've been cooking, like you said, I was young as hell. So. For real. And you know, yeah. that's in the black family when they trust you with the food. Oh, yeah. Like Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. All that I was 16, made all everything for the whole like family. Like 30, 40 people there. Yeah. yeah I'm like, the turkey, Damn. the ham, the dressing, the mac and cheese, everything. Right, right. So, yeah. so what is it like owning a business with your life partner? Mm. Your better half, your husband, <laughs> your wife. <laughs> oh boy, it's, oh god. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's brought us closer. For real? Yeah, yeah, it has. I mean, I, I know for like some people, it might like break apart, you know, a relationship. You ever um, sent that nigga home? <laughs> I took him out of the kitchen. Take I'm your like, head you to the house. Out of you clock out. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's but no, funny. I have sent him out of the kitchen. I'm like, all right, you you gotta get that's out of right. here. But um. <laughs> Honestly, it's brought us closer together because we've had to go through so many trials and tribulations and stuff to figure things out. And of course, we butt heads. We don't agree with everything, but that just makes us stronger. Facts. Yeah. Boy, you're a strong man because every man can attest. <laughs> just hearing your woman voice all day. <laughs> <laughs> All day, bro. You have to wake Man, up. About to give me go a to work, with her, go home, bro. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you what's so gangster about it, though. You know I mean? Look, look, look. What's so what's so cool about it is I work outside, she work inside. Right. So that I mean, don't you really... have to hear her even more because no, she be man. yelling at you. <laughs> Come in. No. <laughs> what's the point of me working outside? <laughs> Oh my God, my, uh, one of our team, my matter of fact, two of our team members, they always make fun of me because they be like, they hear me call him because I'm like, babe, can I, I need some water. I'm about to die. Oh, you bro. better stop doing that because what if somebody <laughs> help her before you get there? Oh, oh man. Like, babe, I need some onions over here. And another nigga has, like, hey, nigga, she ain't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> when, him, when she say, babe, she not talking to the rest of y'all. For real, man. But I mean, you know, working with her, bro, it's, it's like what it is. I think the reason why we work so well together because we able to figure out what we good at and what we not. Right. right. And it just so happened is we opposites in that area. Like the stuff I'm good at, she ain't so good at. The stuff she good at, I ain't so good at. So, right. And by us knowing that and following them rules, that's why we able to, the business brings us closer. Yeah. Versus like when we first started, 
Oh, we was yeah because we was trying to do everything. Yeah, because right. she the chef and you, you know the hustler. I mean? yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. And we was both trying to do it all. You right, know what right, I mean? right. But once I respected what she did for the business, and once she respected what I did for the business, and we trusted each other with those areas. It took off. Yeah, it went it crazy. Forced. All it right, I hope y'all ready for this because I'm about to ask y'all an interview question. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's say, for instance, someone's never had your food. Okay. Tell them why they should. Just look right there in that camera and tell them. <laughs> tell them one reason why they should have your food. Oh, uh, we serve real New Orleans food by real New Orleans. Style. Real New Orleans food. Yeah. Shit come with a bullet in. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> That was fine. That was a good one. Oh, dog. my God. Lie. Yeah. So but come to Cafe Burger yeah. Street, Jeremy. And honestly, yeah. you know, everything is made from scratch. I mean, yeah. you you was there. You, you want saw. me to tell them why that shit happened? Go, Go ahead. Because, look, you, first wait. of all, this shit delicious. <laughs> it, the, everybody plate, they serving plates down there like everybody family. I'm talking about, you know, you get your box. Your box is heavy. Yes. Yeah, it's right. it's yes. definitely worth the price of admission. And whatever whatever kind of palate you have, whether you a picky eater or you eat anything, they got some over there you want. Wow. I'm telling Thank you, bro. Thank you. I had I had took some of the little wings to the crib. My little, yeah. my little chick over there, she just eating the wing. I was like, you don't want no more. She was on just chewing the bone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have yeah, nothing man. nice around certain She must have the bourbon joints. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, eat some more. She's like, mm, uh-uh. I'm starting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> telling you, wow. y'all, got a, y'all got a nice thing going on. Thank there, you. Know, man. And y'all got some, the employees are dope. Oh, yeah. And sure, y'all, y'all slick got the coldest spot over there. For real, you as far think as so? location. Okay. Well, thank you, okay. man. They're holding thank that little corner you. pocket down. Yeah, that little corner pocket, <laughs> right? Yeah. Once you get them man. over there, they trap. They ain't got they no. Trap. There you go. They she got to buy something and go day. face early. What's your favorite menu item that you serve? Both, both of y'all. Um, your personal. Personal, I, the chicken and beans. Yeah, I, yeah. You ain't know that. Yeah. I ain't know that, bro. <laughs> what you like? What I like? What's your favorite? I ain't even gonna lie. Top three. on the day, man. What's your Monday yeah. food? My Monday. We ain't open on Mondays, but let's go. What with you eat on Monday then? Your Wednesday is on Monday. Chick Fil A. Let me promote Chick Fil A right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, on any given day, I gotta go with the with the pool boy, dog. Yeah, the, the pool boy fire. Fry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the pool boy fire. Like but the pool boy rare though. You can't. It's really hard to it catch. It ain't there every day. It'd be like a celebrity. Yeah. Really. Yeah. It's like but, the McRib. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah, hold up, hold up, hold <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Rib ain't got shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I meant like availability. I know, I know, right? yeah, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. had to pause it for a minute. But, but yeah, <laughs> though, but, but you know, like pool boy bourbon ranch fry. That's what I like, bro. Yeah. Summer coming up, y'all got any secret menu items that might be available when the weather mm. break? Mm. No. I heard y'all been, you know, might be yeah, brainstorming I mean, a new look. We got, we gonna, we gonna bring the hot nola back. You, you know? bring what? It's, a, it's, a, it's. So a, yeah, you don't know about, the, know hot about the hot nola. We got a yeah. hot nola burger. It's a, it's a pool bar. Mm-hmm. We get this hot sausage meat straight from New Orleans. Yes, fire. 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 People fire. been begging for it. And we bring that like around the summertime. Why people beg? <laughs> Wait, man. Look, hey, I don't know what it's called, it's bro. Special. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, remember they be coming through, man. <laughs> when y'all gonna do like a big crawfish boil for all the customers or something? When we open a restaurant. Well, yeah, restaurant. Okay, see me yeah. 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 Tell me about yeah. the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, right now I'm actually working on the blueprints and all that with the architect, but it's coming real soon, like mm. real soon. And once we have more space, then it's yeah. gonna we gonna yeah. crawfish. It's gonna be fire. We're gonna do like a little. Special day out the summer, you know what I mean? When we do a crawfish bro. Y'all still, yeah. y'all still available for like events and stuff? People still can reach nah, out. Not, we are. not well. I was about to say not yet. Like yeah. we just kind of started doing it um, because how we're set up with the food truck. Yeah. A lot of the days that people want us, we're operating on those days, yeah. and we don't want to ever take away from the customers. You know our um, regulars who come and all this stuff. So we don't want to mess up the operating days, but right. you know, we are working on it and yeah, getting like that going. Days. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's about to be lit. <laughs> For sure, man. <laughs> 
Y'all ain't pull up with what the, the truck at tonight. That bitch sleep. Oh. Yeah, they sleep it's right sleep. now. It got it got to wake up in the morning. Yeah, y'all wake up Man, in the morning. Man, usually when they come through, they bring the whole setup. It be yeah. smoking as hell outside. Man, I'm telling you, <laughs> this ain't no cap in my rap. They they serving some good shit over there. Thank, Thank you. I'm talking about this shit good. That's gonna be the name of my restaurant. <laughs> Call something to eat. This shit good. We ain't got no menu. You just gotta yeah. pull up. <laughs> ain't no, no menu. So what you want? Nigga, something to eat. Nigga, open up I that box. Nigga, y'all in steak, chicken, rice, corn. Nigga, everything. Like, everything. Nigga, that bread. Okay, appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, just getting something to eat. Uh, you don't know what's in that so box. Neat. It might be a sandwich. It might be two wings. You don't yeah. know. Man. It's on the eat, though. That sounds fire. We ain't trying to fill you up, bro. We don't want you to be full when you leave. I pull up. We just trying to get you something to eat. eat. <laughs> I like that. This shit good. You want something to drink? What's that, y'all got? <laughs> we got a little something. And then we got a little oh, something. something. Yeah. And then we got a little something else. Oh, you my God. <laughs> That's the big shit. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling I'm, you. I'm liking that. It's gonna be crazy. Yes, I can see it. <laughs> Carlos, cooking in the kitchen. Right. Bruh, you know, I'm a fool with it. Facts. I know all the little tricks that don't nobody even discuss. I mm. bet you they didn't teach you this in culinary school. Wait. When you cook in the bologna, uh-huh. mm. <laughs> you're supposed to leave that red strip Yo, on there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you gotta poke, you gotta you gotta poke, poke them. them. Come if you're cooking right. it with a fork, you ain't gotta, you just Do make you toast your bread. You go, I go two, I make an X, I okay. put one. Eh, I go, eh, eh. <laughs> do you so toast I your bread? With the eight breathing holes. Yeah. But if, I, if I got a knife, uh-huh. get what I do. What you do, Jess? <laughs> I got you. Guess when the red strip come off? When? Right before you bite the sandwich. <laughs> you don't, you <laughs> don't. It stay on there. Man, what? Okay. Yo, they yo. didn't teach me that. Now look, Carlos, I'm going to tell you. Me. Me. Look, look, when she met me, she did not fuck with bologna. No, nah, I ain't going to lie. I put her on. My first time eating bologna was like 2020. Yeah, I 20, put it on. 20, Pandemic 20. hit, we had to, you heard me, they ain't had nothing else. I said, B, let's get that bologna. She said, what? I said, why? <laughs> bro, you did, why? You, did you cook it? Yeah, yeah bro, he I did. He Left the red strip on, she was mad. <laughs> take the strip off, I'm like, yo, chill. Bro. I got no, it. If you don't, if you take the strip off, it'll never get done. Okay. Yeah, yeah bro. Forever. It ain't gonna For never real? cook the same, Hell bro. yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's something about that red strip, bro. If you, bro. And you got to eat that sandwich within four minutes of cooking. Five bro. minutes. Shit. You got to eat okay. that bit hot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? Do you toast your bread? N- you, what? The inside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. Facts. But see, bro. this how hood and project I am. Mm-hmm. I make two. I got one toasted, then one just soft bread. Oh. Uh. One night. Okay. One night I made up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. Cause I'm thugging like this. All right. All I can't keep the bologna from her. I go in the thing. Yeah. It's all it was gone. good. I only had one piece. But I ain't of bologna. gonna. He had some. Um. He had like some bougie bologna. This was like boar's head. It was. Um. What was it? Uh, see, you see, y'all speaking was like on something garlic. real important like right now. And I got to look right here at this camera, bro. What? There's a lot of couples out there that's going through it. My nigga, make your girl a sandwich. Yeah. Oh, sandwich, yes. Right. It's the little things, bro. <laughs> Valentine's Day, the shit coming up. You are else. absolutely right. Make her bologna sandwich. Shit, shit From the heart, bad. though. From mm-hmm. the heart. Yes. And you a dog ass nigga if you don't cut it in half. <laughs> And trying it. Bro. Yep. Uh, she love you more if you give her some chips and something to drink. Yeah. Come on. Go ahead. She giving y'all some game. Come on. I had to learn this the hard way. Bro, a sandwich. One thing is yeah. about women, they always want to eat. It don't yep. matter what the fuck just happened. Even you if feed them. Full. The nigga who feed her, that's who going to be able to keep them. You are yep. not lying. You Man, a lot of decisions <laughs> are being made on empty stomachs. Mm. Why a lot of relationships don't. <laughs> Last, it's not you the cheat, it's the eating. Yep. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't getting no new shit. Yo, he said it's not the cheat, it's the eating. It's the yo. eating. Motherfuckers Man. ain't getting no nutrients, no <laughs> extra. Hey, yo. Hey, hey. It's, yo. I mean, it's, it's women out here that don't even keep juice at the crib. Nah, bro. Who, 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 who trying to love you? Juice yeah. Who, who want to yeah. love you with no juice? Hey. That's the worst oh shit a motherfucker do. Hey, y'all want something to drink? What you got? Some water. Well, why you just offer me that? You made it sound like you had options. Uh, people got more. one bit. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Nah, man. Hey, but look, she fired. Like, we'll get up, whole day in the food truck, working hard. She go home and cook a whole meal. 
That means oh you holding now that work. You gotta go harder. <laughs> you supposed to be too tired to do anything. <laughs> no, I'm really <laughs> You at work, relax. Wait a minute. Save some juice for when I get home. Uh, Wait, step no. it up. Hell no, nah, I'm just hungry, Carlos. I, I heard that. Shit. Yep. Gotta eat quiet. Got Man. <laughs> Women don't know. We, men be excited like little ass boys when they be in there cooking, man. What? Next time you cook it, just look at what your nigga doing. He's yeah. probably standing up there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 all right. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. And she fire too. She not only do she cook it. When she be like, baby, the food ready, I walk in there, I'm thinking, you know, I gotta fix a plate, man. The plate there ready. Hot. Stop, bro, cause now you oh, just bro. flexing on us. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro, yeah. we know y'all in yeah. this shit. Yeah. Don't do yeah. nothing. It's a lot she of niggas watching this shit. She gangster, man. <laughs> Who not even getting yeah. sides yeah. with their meal. Bro, oh. you and you gonna flex. Yeah, she be fixing the plate yeah. and all that shit. <laughs> the plate be ready and all I gotta yeah. do is eat. Yep. Every time. Every time. Lucky ass nigga. <laughs> Every time. Get this whole Life goddamn amazing, plate. Carlos. This shit was trending on Twitter the other day about <laughs> making plates. Oh. You out here living good. Living in a panoramic. Stop flexing on these folks, baby. For real. You gotta chill out. Watch my story, bro. Nah, I don't, I'm not, bro. I don't fault niggas who living better than me. <laughs> That's my story, you think man. I'm gonna let niggas on me. Man, my story is fire, bro. <laughs> Fucked up, bro. Bro, my face. Like I want to just see you out here having all the things I want. Hosting <laughs> <laughs> good plates and shit. Yeah. For real. Yes. Yep. Look, it's man, they ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all keep doing your thing in the community. Let them know where they can find you so they can see some of this these plates and things we're talking about. I know they're sure. popping on social media. All right, all right. Things Follow of that us, nature. Um, at Cafe Bourbon Street on Instagram. Yep, and that's uh, ST. Yep, ST, yeah. um, at MasterChef JB mm -hmm, right here, mm -hmm. and at OG Marquette, y'all can follow us. Um, and as far as the food truck goes, we parked at 1318 Silver Road yep. until the restaurant opens. So you got to follow us so you can stay updated, Jeremy. Exactly. exactly. Sure. Marquette be singing on his Instagram, too. Yeah. I hope y'all know that. Yeah, yeah, I'll be singing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pushing. It just looked like I was singing that nigga. Tell the truth. I'm mad. Nigga got bad oh. hair and everything. Fuck I'm this nigga, man. I'm about to agree. 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 She's an OG though. baby hair, man. Look though. But look though, she need my hair too. I know she need. Yeah. She slicked your shit. Come here. Yeah. With the two bro. Yeah, she yeah. Need hey, what you up. doing? Edges, bitch. Live. Yeah. Live. Yeah. I hook them up. That's my yeah. dog, man. These people. I love y'all like family, man. Because we are family we at this point. Too. And you know, I'll be back to my job. We got to work on them egg roll bites. Yeah. We're going to change right. the game with yeah. those right there. Cafe Bourbon Street. We've 85 been South. Black Excellence Spotlight. I'll be back. I'll be back hey. like a spy. Right. I'm on your head like your grandma wig. Okay. Hey, Jalen.